everybody? It is your boy DJ Mixmaster, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. So, last video we were on the fringe of saving the dodge from being poisoned. Unfortunately, we were too late. We managed to kill the assassin, but then of course we were framed for killing the dodge. And then the Templars managed to put in one of their own as the new Dodge being Marco Barbadigo. And so we had to try to see if we could, uh, let me get rid of this guy. Money, money, money. So, uh, Marco never comes, uh, or I should say never leave, never left his palazzo, but because they wanted to keep up appearances, decided to throw a ball for Carnival. And we managed to infiltrate and use our newly acquired hidden pistol to assassinate him, killing another of the conspirators. And so now in this video, we are going to go rob the Templars. We're here near the arsenal to go into a Templar lair to, to rob it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. As soon as I figure out how to get in. Oh, and I think I know how. Well, aren't you a funny man? Shipwrecked. Infiltrate the Arsenal dry docks and find the Templar treasure hidden within.
He looks familiar. Where have I seen him before? Eccolo! <laughs> Get off so easy. Cats! He's getting clear! There he is! Get him! <laughs> Your men. So kill me then. At least I will have my honor, unlike the son of a pig farmer standing in front of me. kept an eye on his men. Trying to break into the treasury is a serious offense. We needed him to build the ships. Now I'll have to go find another shipbuilder. Next time inform the watch when you question an intruder instead of dealing with it yourself. Ass, you know. Donato! Cazzo! Assassino!
Ah! He's not going to get me. Ah, oh. oh, so close to your men. Alright, so with that being robbed, I think we'll actually continue with the story. We'll go for the other Templar uh, lair, possibly next video.
services for all the gods' flock. <laughs> Noble prices for noble ways. Arnold, different <laughs> There you are. Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarico, soon to be Doge of Venezia, thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We've located Silvio Barbarico for you. He's fled into l'arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied? and joined by 200 mercenaries, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of l'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. Okay. Silvio Barbarigo. Raised by wealthy merchants, Silvio was introduced to politics when his father was cut out of the family inheritance. From then on, Silvio worked for his uncle, his father's killer. Apparently, he had a knack for persuasion. Quickly, he became his uncle's advisor, proving his worth by discovering a Saranzo plot against the Barbarigos. You're gonna love this. Before the plot could be carried out, Silvio throws an Easter celebration, inviting the Saranzos. There's a pageant for the children in the central courtyard, while Silvio escorts the parents to the roof. He toasts the family, then signals the archers hidden behind the courtyard windows. The Saranzos never plotted against the Barbarigos again. Fast forward ten years, and Silvio's living in his uncle's luxurious Venetian palazzo. According to the history books, his uncle died in bed. <laughs> and I skipped it because I totally forgot but let's see Hmm. 
I might not be able to see it for uh Ah, there we go. Did we ever see Carlo Grimaldi? Emerging from his palace in Monaco with a craving for political power, Carlo quickly became a key guest at the tables of Venetian nobility. While his reputation for discretion earned him entrance into the back rooms. Here's how the old bastard ended up in the Council of Ten. While visiting the head of the council, Ignacio Contarini, Carlo ran into Ignacio's daughter. Desperate for help and aware of Carlo's trustworthy reputation, she confided in him. Her father had arranged her marriage, but she wanted to run away with the son of one of the servants. They'd been in love since they were children, and they planned to start a new life in Milan where they could be free of her father. Carlo suggested immediate action, an escape by ship that night. The two lovers followed his instructions, and as they climbed the gangplank, they were free. That is, until Ignazio appeared on deck. Carlo was rewarded for his loyalty to the Contarini family. While true love, well, see for yourself. <laughs> Marco Barbarigo. Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk, Whatever Marco wanted, he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. And then there's his personal life. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this. Marco decides he wants Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriages till death do us part. And Marco's a good Catholic. So, he hires a hit on Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body and once in the head. But he doesn't die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So, what does Marco do? Well... He hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta, and keeps Dante as his personal slave. What a lovely fella. Damn, that's cold. Man, tip to kill a guy. He doesn't die, but because of the injuries he sustained, just use him. reason to be here. Go! Murderer! Stay back! I didn't mean 
any harm. Please, help. be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Stuggs attacked, took him deeper into the district. <coughs> North of here. Requiescat in pace. Caged fighter. Liberate Bartolomeo de Avino from his cage. You're not buying fairer prices than these, Amici. <laughs> Let me out! Unico pensiero sarà spiccarvi dal tronco quelle testi di cazzo e di calma e super il culo! And I've no intention to find us either. Oh, and what a grand display it will be! The likes of which shall be sung up for years to come! About goddamn time! I don't know if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. That's quite all right. Who are you? I'm Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Down there! Stop them! Where Save to, me. my dog? I'll send you to your grave! <laughs> what fun! <laughs> Finally, we <laughs> get in there! Let's see what you can do! <laughs> what fun is this? Ugh. 
All right. Hell yes. Yeah. We should go. Agreed. There are still more heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No, just practical. Given that they outnumber us a hundred to one. As you wish, Bella Mia. Does there something ail you, friend? To all citizens of the most serene republic! Watch for the large one. Dante is called. Most of Silvio's men are useless, but that one's trouble. There he is, Lajou! Stop! Let's see what you can do! Finally, things get interesting! Ah. <laughs> what fun <laughs> is this? Don't go. overextend yourself now. Don't you for a chance? Sweet Frida, how I have missed you. Silvio has set his men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. Ah, no need. Bartolomeo is always prepared for a fight. On me. If you value your life, you'll stand down. Never! What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them. Go! Oh, and see what you can do! She is unharmed. All right, y'all. So, with that out of the way, I believe this is a good place to take a break. Next video will continue on with the story. Looks like we have some more fighting left to do. So, like and comment on the video, subscribe for more gameplay, and with that, see ya, peace.